Good afternoon. It is 4 p.m. here in South Korea. I am Adi Rang News, AI anchor, Ari. Russia's Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs, Andriy Rudenko, arrived in South Korea on Friday and held talks with Korean Foreign Ministry officials. The Foreign Ministry said Sunday that Rudenko first met with Kim Gun, Seoul's chief negotiator for peace on the Korean Peninsula, for talks on North Korea issues. Both agreed to further communication, while South Korea urged Russia to cease military cooperation with the North. With households with both parents working becoming more common in South Korea, President Yoon suk yeol says the government will ease the burden on parents by contributing more to help with child care, especially through the public education system. This came as President Yoon presided over the ninth livelihood policy discussion with citizens on Monday, where he announced that Nurbom School programs will be expanded to all elementary schools starting in the second semester. The program, which was implemented in 459 schools last year, offers expanded after-school and childcare classes allowing parents to pick kids up later than usual. According to Yoon, 83.6% of parents wish to participate in the program. Yoon also said the programs will work closely with local communities to improve the system. South Korea's foreign exchange reserves fell last month on the back of a strengthening greenback. According to the Bank of Korea on Monday, the value of the country's foreign exchange reserves came to over 415 billion US dollars at the end of January. That's down by almost 4.4 billion dollars from the previous month, dropping for the first time in three months. Korea's central bank attributed the fall to the dollar index, which climbed 2.1 percent last month against major currencies. The decline was also due to a foreign exchange swap agreement with the National Pension Service to release U.S. dollars into the market in a bid to stabilize the $1 exchange rate. President Joe Biden secured a landslide victory in South Carolina's Democratic primary on Saturday. This paves the way for a potential rematch between him and former President Donald Trump. In just the first Democratic Party primary on Saturday, Biden took 96.2% of ballots cast, with 97% of the total votes tallied by Sunday midnight. The landslide victory also means Biden will be awarded all 55 of the state's Democratic delegates, as neither Williamson nor Phillips broke the 15% threshold for being awarded any delegates. A state of emergency has been declared in Chile, where at least 99 people have died in wildfires that have been raging throughout the country's Valparaiso region since Saturday. In a press conference on Sunday, President Gabriel Borg said the death toll is expected to grow substantially, saying the priority was to save lives and assist injured people. He declared Monday and Tuesday as days national mourning for fire victims. Chilean authorities have introduced a 9 p.m. curfew in the hardest hit areas and sent in the military to help firefighters stem the spread of fires. The cause of the fires is currently being investigated. That is all for today. Thanks for watching.